This is the left foot I'm just putting together. Which would be like that. Um, I'm just, I've uh, screwed the front and back in with three uh, um, bolts inside. You can just see them in there. Um, I've also screwed this uh, foot uh, holder uh, in there, this way up. I think sometimes it's actually meant to be in that way to fit it onto the uh, onto a base, but I'm going to use it the other way around. Okay, to hold the this ankle section onto the foot, I'm going to put a tire up through there, which will go through the uh, the hole. And just put a small just put a bolt in there just to tie up it across. That will now rotate. So that should be strong enough to support and hold the uh, the foot together. Uh, the There's a little gap in there which you can put these little printed rings on which will clip in there. I'm not going to do that for time being. Uh, but that, that is the... Uh, I'm just going to leave a little bit on there so I can tighten that up if I need to. But that will hold the leg, uh, hold the foot ankle together. I've just put a self-tap uh, in there and a self-tap in there. Uh, there's another couple of holes, I'm not going to put them in for the minute. So that is the, the left foot. The ankle section. This is the one I'm just working on for my uh, robot head um, with, with, a, uh, with some gearing in there. But uh, effectively what will happen is... I don't know, I don't know what it's, uh... That'll bolt on there, which I'll do in a minute. But that does allow me to just keep that, that whole angle going uh, without gluing this down. So I think that's quite a good way to hold it in. I'm not sure if that is the... Uh, the recommended method. I don't think there is a recommended method. So, uh, that's that one. I'm printing another one of these bases. Uh, at this, another one of these foot holders, actually, at this, uh, as we speak. So that's the, that's the second one. I didn't think I was going to use them at all, but then I realised they'd be quite a good idea to hold this uh, ankle in. So once that's printed, I can put together the, uh, the right foot. Uh, and bolt them onto the legs and um, that's apart from painting that's put a construction over and done with for those but I'm still working on the the mechanism for the uh, my uh, uh, bot head um, which is which is this one uh, and using this as a drive this is a Heims uh, connector. I need another nut in there. This is just to just to try and work out how to uh, drive that because um, the the SDLs haven't been published for this this whole angle. Uh, how to connect? Basically, how to connect that to the uh, to the the, the, um, the server inside. This one doing this um, gearing is fairly straightforward because you can see the gear teeth in there and the motor sits facing down so I've just got to uh, um, uh, print a, uh, a tooth gear to go in there which I've partly done actually uh, but I've got my scaling wrong on the, my first attempt but uh, I'm gonna have another go at that uh, over the Christmas period so that will that will rotate this section and then I just need to rotate that section and uh, I'll have a fully moving head 
which is just a, um, a just a different me me mechanism for my uh, for my for my headbot. Um, so that's that's. Um, I've got some extra bits arriving uh, for this. Uh, I've got a um, rather than having uh, the servo gear, the servo wheel like that. I've actually got a, um, a spigot uh, um, socket which I bought from uh, Hobby Key, I think it was, uh, which points upwards so you can actually screw into the top um, and it will create the linkage. Uh, but the height isn't right at the moment because that's too that's too long. So I've got to uh, mess around with that to get all that to uh, you can sort of see inside there. So I've just got to get those, those linkages joining. Uh, and I should be able to get this to uh, mechanically um, take with the, with the servo. Okay, so this is the. I'm just getting ready to bolt the foot onto the onto the leg. So that's all seems to be working fine. I've got. A, I've just put a couple of bolts. These are slightly too long, but uh, it's all I've got at the moment. So they'll do just for uh, testing purposes. So that should. just for the purposes of seeing if it all lines up. And there we go. So that is... That seems to work rather well, I, should, I think. So that would take... What I found actually is this is a bit tight in there, that rotating section in there, because that is pushing up against there. So it stops it, uh, the, the ankle rotating around. Uh, I tried sanding it down to, to get that uh, this section not to, to rub against there, but it doesn't really work. So I've put in on this one, um, you can probably just see, I've just put a washer in there, but just a, a, you know, a tiny little thin washer, which just gives that enough space so that does rotate. So probably what I'll do is do the same uh, in here, just put a, um, a washer inside that bit, because that will rotate, but you can, as you can see, you have to sort of force it. It'll just make the, uh, the, the leg, the foot more loose. So I'm not sure it was a good or bad thing, but uh, at least, at least the, that bit will move anyway. So, uh, so that is a foot. That that is just as I say. It's just uh, with the printed bolt through there, uh, and that's how I'm holding it on with the tie wrap, which you can see. So that's the top of the uh, tie wrap, just holding that. holding that together. Okay this is the uh, right hand foot which I've uh, got together. I've finished, I've now finished printing that uh, inner um, foot uh, um, support so I can uh, bolt it all together. This, uh, as I think I mentioned in another video, the um, plastic there slightly warped, warped back. So I've got a gap there, but I can fill all that a, a another time. But I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just assembling it all just to see how it all goes together, because I'm going to probably paint some of, some of it. But it's, it's not, it, I mean, there is, you know, there's gaps there as well, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's uh, getting there. Okay, so I've got the, uh, got the two feet uh, fitted on now. Um, as you can see, they're working away. I just need to tighten that one up a little bit, actually. And just pull that tie up a little bit tighter in there. I put the washers in there as I, as I was mentioning I was going to do. There's just a, a thin washer sitting in there just to give that um, a bit of movement. So it's now got a complete uh, 
It doesn't need it. It's probably going to make the legs a bit, the, the feet a bit floppy, but uh, at, least, at least they'll move. So, and I've also put a, um, a self tap in there. So that 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 front two. These are, these are a bit long. These bolts. I'll put in short ones at some point. But uh, front a couple of bolts to the front and a self tap in the back. That's got a self tap in there. That's got a self tap there. I haven't put anything in there for the time being because, as I say, I might take this apart again. So I'm going to mount these on the main section of the legs um, and um, see what they look like. Okay, so there are the two uh, in-move legs completed. Um, it's sitting on my chair, uh, standing on its feet are on my chair because because of, of the weight of them. I've just um, the thigh section, the top section here, uh, isn't fitted on at the moment um, because I'm not sure of the angle because you can actually sort of rotate the the leg around a little bit. So once I'm not going to glue that on until I know. Um, the, the actual angle because otherwise the legs may you know the knees may be pointing in or pointing out or something um so they that can go on later but they're basically done um i may uh well i'm going to take them apart a little bit to spray paint the uh um uh, in black the the joints and the ankle sections and the upper the sort of the raised upper section uh in black um uh, maybe spray them down a bit and give them a clean up, but they're they're basically done. Um, they're fully articulating. As uh, if I show you the uh, toe, the foots. So that is they're all moving. On both of those, uh, there's no motors in there, as, as you know, but uh, at least they'll they'll hang there and they'll uh, they can rotate. Um, so uh, they're just sitting on my chair, as you can see. So the next thing will be uh, to sort out the stand for the main in-move uh, robot and then I can actually sort of hang these on it. Um, uh, so I'm going to do that plus I'm still working on the other uh, angle, uh, ankle uh, mechanism for the head as you can see just sitting on the bench there. I'm just waiting for some extra bits. Uh, so I'm going to do that over Christmas period hopefully if I get a good chance of that. Um, but that's... Uh, that's all the 3D printing I'm doing for the minute, um, unless I need some spare, small spare parts. I will be printing some uh, gearing for the uh, ankle uh, because Gal hasn't made available all the gears for the internal ankle um, uh, foot joint because he doesn't want to, well, because that's not going to be motorised, but I want to motorise it, as I say, for my head. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of that. Um, but uh, I think it's really just painting, so I'm, I'm trying to get the painting done and see if I can get the uh, the stand adjusted slightly uh, to at least hang the uh, hang the unit off the uh, off the stand hang, hang the legs off the stand and and maybe then glue on that top section so I can get the the angle right so um that's it have a good holiday <laughs>